Silver finally breached the long winning streak and the stronger rally there. And you know the reason why I told you last time. See the complete candle size and the body size. The body size is less than half of the complete movement here, which means that there is lot much of price pressure from the upside. And we can see silver finally breached the previous lows till towards 24.65. It is achieved at the same time on the upside 25.40, 25.60 zone again provided it a very very good resistance. Now what to expect is, is, is this the beginning of the retracement and we can see a drop from here or is it going to fly back again on the upside. Which position you should take trading silver next week we will see with the help of charts followed with indicators and towards the end I will summarize and give you the trading strategy and levels such that you can profit next week. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Do not forget to press the bell icon. Do watch till the end. Listen to it carefully. Note down the levels and yes remember. Pressing the bell icon keeps you updated with the daily analysis and targets which I share for silver. So do press the bell icon. Also you can be updated by joining my free telegram channel. Link is mentioned in the channel and video description. Now let's have a look at silver. Now see silver's rally started here when you can see the bottom and a strong foundation was created here. The rise here consolidation retracement second rise and now either it could try to consolidate before retracing. Now remember after a long, long winning streak there is always a possibility of a slight retracement and that is what silver is reflecting. Now uh, let me show you something see if you look at the charts here you will find higher highs higher lows. So this is the channel in which it is trading the bottom of this channel is little far below at 21 levels. Now 21, 22 is going to be the strongest support for silver. It can see if it can show you a complete rise. It can show you a, a drop also. And that is where you should remain watchful there. Now that is the first part. And now look at the last week's movement specifically. So for next week my most important candle is the last week's candle. See after this rise it is still trying to create a flag. And till $24 I will not consider this as bearish below 24 only further bearishness is going to be seen. Now at the same time one more point to remember see lower highs and that is where for next week 25.40, 25.50 levels are going to remain important. Till it stays below 25.50 there is a possibility that it can reverse and continue with the downward move below 24.50 further bearishness is going to take it till towards 24. So uh, the swing zone between 25.50 to 24.50 and the direction movement is going to be on the upside and downside both ways whichever direction it takes it is going to be a stronger move. Now see this is the first red candle there is always a possibility that a second red candle can be seen which might take it first till towards 24.50 and if this is breeze it is going to give it a stronger stronger bearishness. And then we can see it resuming its second round of retracement and continuation on the bullish channel. Now let's have a look at the daily charts. Now see so far silver was trading in this bullish channel. It, it has already breached this channel on the downside. Remember this was a strong and long bullish channel. For last couple of months we have seen silver in this rising zone. Now it has breached this channel. It is certainly trading bearish. And once it is breeze, it is always going to stay. Second part is it has created the bottom and see consolidation rise, consolidation rise, consolidation rise, rise, rise. And that is how steps are created for silver. Now if you see, if you divide it into two halves, you will find that it is trying to create a symmetry. See this engulfing, this is a bearish engulfing pattern. Now it is trying to consolidate in this zone. Despite the last candle was a pretty much bearish candle and hence next candle whenever that is for next week possibly it can complete the journey till here that is 24. It is trying to create a symmetry it may possibly try to stretch the drop till there. Now on the upside see as I said only buy entry only reversal confirmation only rise confirmation only bullish confirmation is above 25 50 levels beyond which certainly we have to stay long. Now for next week you can stay short once you see it trading below 25 you can sell but then till 2480 we have to be watchful and then below 2480 this time we are going to look at 2450 levels which is going to be the next support and below that certainly 2420 24 dollars are going to get achieved in an accelerated manner in a faster. Now let's look at the monthly 
Now, firstly, on the monthly chart, see the rise there and see the consolidation there. Now, see lower highs, lower lows were seen there. This time, it is already moved past or it is already breached this bearish channel on the monthly chart. This is a good indication for silver. This is a good bullish indication for the silver. Remember, the breakout beyond 26 levels is a good rise indication. And now, it is trying to look at $30, $29 in the near future. Right now, it is still trying to get a pullback. Now, look at the monthly charts. See, first of all, the rise there, the retracement for a couple of candles. Then, this is the second bullish candle. And uh, in all probability, that can it can still try to stay bullish. So, even if it tries to drop next week, there could be a reversal towards the end of the end of the week or the month that is the last trading session there could be a possibility of a little rise there now see this is a greener candle here and see uh, the movement if you look at the move started from 24 dollars it went till 26 and it is trying to close somewhere here in middle and if the body size is remains less than the complete movement here possibility of the next monthly candle to remain bearish exists there now remember one fact if it stays below 24 it is going to give it a very strong pullback on the downside if it stays below 24 i will be looking forward to 2360 2320 levels as the next strongest support but it has to breach first 24 dollar levels and rather 24 50 first and then the next support is going to be 24 so be watchful there the candle is still green the candle the greener candle is coming after a couple of retracement candle and hence it can still stay bullish here so be watchful there with the bears now look at the indicators part because it is always important to conclude the analysis with the help of indicators now on the indicators part see the crossover has happened this is the 20 50 100 period crossover which has started here and see so far it was trading with divergence now second part is the support is what you are getting here now see the 20 period moving average giving it a support at 2450 2470 zone also if you look at see whenever silver try prices try to diverge it is always converge and we have seen this convergence now look at the moving average see so far we can see the slope here the delta here is increasingly bullish now it is suddenly changed and it is started to curve here so i will wait for it to show the convergence sign and then we will wait for it to cross over possibly then only confirm the bearishness right now it is still bullish 2470 2450 zone is going to remain once again a very very important support zone for silver a stock iastic was consistently trading overbought has dropped a bit now trading comfortable the MACD on the other hand is divergent, bearish, it is looking down, it is still indicating. Now see this crossover, this crossover has happened at a slightly higher levels. This indicates, see the bullish journey was very very long. It has achieved a good high levels, possibility of a further retracement exists here. And even if it is bullish, it can try to retrace a little before looking forward to a rise or continuation of the bullish momentum. RSI was overbought. It has cooled down a bit. It has come to the comfortable levels here. Now look at the weekly. On the weekly charts, now the 50 and 100 period of moving averages have started to cross over and this is also very very good sign. Support there is far below at 23 and yes it is trying to see now the Bollinger Bands have started to expand a bit and this is happening after a good long winning streak. Also look at the super trend. This is also on the buy side till it stays about 21. But look at the stock elastic. This is extremely overbought and now it is started to look down. There is a possibility of a slight retracement. On the other hand, the MACD is still divergent, still bullish. It is almost trying to cover the top there. But look at the time uh, here, what we silver had seen when it went till towards $30 levels. It is still bullish here on the weekly charts. MACD. RSI is also near to the highs here. Now, let's have a look at the monthly. On the monthly charts, most importantly, as I said, lower highs. This It is silver has breached. This has given a breakout on the upside. And a breakout is always a stronger momentum, which it is going to continue for a little long. Hence, yes, on the super trend, it is still on sell till it stays below 28 on the monthly charts. But yes, uh, do not consider this as bearish. You can see this monthly candles getting the support at 24. Now, 24, 22 zone is a very, very strong support zone on the downside. 
stochastic was overbought it is cooled down a bit comfortably trading the macd on the other hand has crossed over and it is trading with divergence it is looking bullish it is looking upwards rsi is also started to look upwards and trading bullish here now we have seen the charts we have seen the indicators time for me to define the trading levels and strategy for you so that you can trade profitably and comfortably and before i provide you the levels yes if you want to learn this art of trading profitably you can be part of my signals channel the uh, not only signals channel but the mentorship batch the 21st mentorship batch is going to start on 1st of may reserve your seats now itself reach out to me for more details my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description also be part of the signals channel trading as per the signals definitely you can benefit now next week 2520 is the only level i will recommend you to buy above that we can expect 2533 2550 now these levels and then 2560 now these levels and this zone is again going to remain pretty important rather 2550 levels once it stays beyond 2550 there is again going to be good bullishness which is going to take it till towards 2580 26 and this time it is going to achieve further high so 2640 levels and beyond that is sky is the limit on the upside yes on the monthly charts it is still indicating bullishness however on the near term there is lot much of trouble which can be expected uh, and that is why 2520 levels and 2550 levels are the two levels it needs to break past by in order to confirm the rise on the sell side i will recommend you to sell here at 2495 wait for 2480 and then 2460 once these levels are taken you can expect that 2450 and below that we are going to look at a very good drop for 2420 24 dollars the next stronger support now remember one more fact once it drops below 24 we are going to look at accelerated bearishness for 2360 and below levels chances are less that it is going to go so far in the last week for this month that is the next week and hence we have to trade with caution trade accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss do not forget to like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship batch and signals channel reach out to me for more details my telegram and email id is mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day thank you